Well, good morning. This morning our scripture is found in Matthew chapter 10, beginning in verse 19, and it goes like this. But when they deliver you up, take no thought of how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given unto you in the same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. This morning I'd like to talk to you about witnessing. Uh, the Bible tells us that we're supposed to be a witness of Jesus. And uh, I know many of us uh, shy, uh, or come up with a, a million excuses, too busy. <laughs> but we need to share Jesus with others. We, we, hey, time is drawing near before the Lord's return, and we need to uh, tell others about the love of God. But many are frightened. Uh, they just don't know what to say. But our scripture today tells us that he, the Holy Spirit, will put words in your mind and out your mouth when you're witnessing. And we have to rely on him. I have to rely on him every day because I never have the, the right words, but he does. So we should never worry about what we have to say. We'll allow him to speak through us. The gospel is something that some people go to church to hear. It's something when we go from church to tell. We need to tell others. If we're ever going to be or do or say anything for our Lord. Now is the time because tomorrow may be too late. I would suggest that you pray and ask God to help you to overcome your nervousness, uh, your fear, and allow you to tell someone about Jesus and his love and his saving power. You might be surprised just how easy it comes when it's the Holy Spirit that's directing your words. Well, I hope you have a blessed Sunday. I love you. But better yet, Jesus loves you because he died on the cross for you and I. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.